Welcome back, guys. Season two of Foodie Talks. I decided to do it back because I feel like me and my friend. Oh, dude, you should put a soccer jersey. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta sit to the occasion. So yeah, I decided to bring it back. Um, I feel like YouTube is trying to find shows, and I feel like I want to build a show and everything. So I decided to bring it back. It's like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rock dog this shit. I'm not gonna have anything informative because I don't think we're smart in soccer, but we enjoy it. Right, Caesar? Yes. Oh Jesus! What kind of fucking jersey is that? The Brazil jersey. No way, it's Brazil. Yeah, it's Kaka. Really? Where'd you get that? Holy yeah, shit! I got it online. Yeah, online. Yeah, online. That has to be fake. What fake. year is it? Fuck if I know. I bought it like online, not like an online store. I bought it from someone online. Oh, you bought it on Facebook Marketplace? Not Facebook, Macari. Oh, Macari, you use Macari. I did a lot. That does look fake. I what year is that? Take it off. I want to see. I want to see where it is now. Let me see. Again, I Let's see. Does this jersey look or fake? It looks. Look, put it in the camera. The look at this jersey. It looks way too yellow. Oh, because there's no brand. This has to be fake. There's no. There's no logo. Oh my god! It just got exposed. No logo. Holy shit! It's all right. I mean, so? it, it's not bad. Yeah, that's fine. But like, yeah, it is fake. That is crazy. It's Brazil with an Z or an S. Z. Oh. All right, how you sit back down, fucking grab the fucking mic, and I talk oh, without a mic. No. no, wear it, wear it, no. Oh, no. <laughs> He's going to change. No, you should have wore it. It's not like, bro. I'm telling you, we're not good at talking about soccer, but we'll try our best. But I like soccer, and I'm fascinated by soccer. And right now, he just pulled out our fake jersey. I don't like fake jerseys, to be honest. I had that phase. You have one? You have a fake messy jersey. The one that you bought me. No, that one was not fake. Oh yes, I know. I had a low. I had a phase. My mom, yeah, exactly. My parents always bought me those fake ones. I was like, damn. Uh, I got my Arsenal. Oh yeah, that's. I never seen you wear that one. Cause I've never worn it. Why didn't you wear that one? That's not bad. Where'd you get that? Online. The Yo. same person that told me that. Okay, now that one looks real. Well, yeah, cause it has like the shit. I literally looked up the serial number to make sure it was right. Why didn't you look up the serial number there? Cause there was no. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you still decided to buy it. How much was it? Oh, uh, fifteen. Oh, 15. Okay, that's not bad. How much was that? 15. Oh, that's a steal then. Yeah. That's not bad. Then I got another bar, bar what Brazil year is it? one. What year is it? This one? Yeah. Fuck if I know. Guess. Guess what year it is. Um, Looks like a 2012. No, it's like a 18, at least 19. Hi, it has to be higher than that. This is. Yeah, it's Puma. It's Puma. Isn't Adidas in the new sponsor for Arsenal now? I think so. Yeah, that's old. I like it. That's when, wait, what, is it Alexis Enches or what? What's in the back? Who's in the back? Oh, no one? Oh. Mm. Uh, Oh damn. Okay. Dry, so. so yeah, we're bringing it back. Honestly, this is an this is an empty spare room of my friend Caesar's house. I decided to you know use it for a little bit because I honestly this is so much so much room and I could use it for. But yeah, we're gonna here basically introduce the. We're super late to it. Primarily already started. We're gonna probably give. Her, I want to see. I want to see how far close we can get. We're gonna do our like top six out of the blue. Caesar uh, out of the blue. I don't give a shit. We are out of the blue. We're gonna see which one our top six teams are gonna land in the final day of a Premier League and then we're going to talk about the other matches honestly but yeah where do you want to start first you want to do Premier League or you want to start up different games what other games are there there was um, Ma- um, Inter Miami versus LAFC oh you're going to talk about American we're going to talk about everything but we're basically sli- okay how, this is how we're going to put it I feel like we're going to talk about Premier League for a little bit we're going to s- out of the blue I know you're not I know you're not into the Premier League but it's going to be fun to see if we're gonna have, we're going to predict our top six teams who's going to win the Premier League, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, top six teams. And then we're going to probably talk about the other games, like the Inter-Miami versus LAFC, because that was a big one. There's a lot of celebrities that went up there. You saw that? Nah, yeah. dude, yeah. Ever since Messi came in, dude, yeah, LeBron saw, James is going to soccer games. No, yeah, I saw um, Selena Gomez, Tyga was there. Some other... Um, so Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian went to one. Yeah, dude. I'm t- that's crazy. It's just all going on. Just to see Messi, that's crazy. And, like, all the tickets are there. Are you going to see Messi? You didn't, you didn't get tickets for the Chicago one? I mean, I still can, but probably not. Fuck that. They're expensive. Because you have to buy two seats. You oh, can't really? buy one. No, you have to buy a pair. Is that how it works? Yeah. For that, Damn. for Inter Miami now? Yeah. Really? I'm pretty sure. When you go on, like, Ticketmaster... When you buy, it's it'll tell you how much each seat is, but then when you buy, you can only buy two or more. 
Really? That's fucked up. Yeah. I bought a, I bought a single ticket. I thought you said you won't bought him with Oscar. No, I bought no. I, Oscar bought him one, bought some with his with his oh, cousin. Oh, okay. And then when me and Oscar were hanging out and everything, he's like, "Dude, are you gonna buy tickets?" And I'm like, "Shit!" That's when he just arrived and shit, and like tickets started skyrocketing and everything. And me and Oscar were hanging the exact the exact same day when that happened. Shit. And then he's like, "Yeah, I already bought tickets to watch him in Chicago." I'm like, "Oh shit!" And so I went to the bathroom and then I went. He just bought tickets. And then I bought tickets right there, right then and there. And I'm like, "Damn!" It was like 300 bucks. I go, yeah, but it's for one ticket. And I'm like, "Damn!" Even now the tickets are like that still. Now like tickets are like what? Let's hit, check out the tickets. Oh, they've got to be higher now. No, I'm pretty sure there's six, there's there three hundred, but yet the fact that you have to buy two, I don't think that's. I'm pretty sure is either that for that specific game or. Just let's see. Okay, let's see. Sporting Kansas City versus Inter Miami. Ninety-five bucks. That's not bad. That's the thing. If Messi's gonna play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inter Miami versus Atlanta. 135. They're not expensive anymore. What the fuck? Inter Miami, Toronto FC versus Inter Miami. 146. Maybe the craze has stopped. Holy shit. Well, maybe it has. Yeah, maybe it has. Honestly, I don't see the Chicago one. Is it sold out? I'm no, they're the Chi- still there. Where? 196. 196. Oh, it's not yeah, bad. but when you buy it. Oh shit! Hold up. Oh, there you go. One. I had it on two ticket filter. How much That's is one ticket? 100. 197 197 oh, okay yeah but how much is tax because you know they. oh yeah T- what are you using SeatGeek or Ticketmaster Ticketmaster dude SeatGeek fucking has so much hidden fees it's so annoying I fucking hate it nah damn it's crazy I remember when the yeah that's, I should have waited fuck I really spent 300 bucks then <laughs> on yeah but what kind of seats did you get I don't know I mean let me see I know there's an Apple thing you can do where it's like Chicago Fire, Soldier Field. How do you do the ticket thing for the iPhone? What ticket thing? It's like, oh, what the fuck? Let me check. Wallet. Oh, there you go. Shit. I am in section 220, section 222, row 19, seat 25. Shit. Chicago FC Wait, what versus... Seat, what, what are you? What section? Section 202, row 19. You see it? 202? Yeah. Shit. That's 400. Oh, what the? No, what? No. It says 202 Club. Is that not it? 202 Club? Maybe it's on the other side. Mm. No, because those are high. I know. It goes yeah, this way. I think I'm in the corner. So yeah, that could be the one. Yeah, section two hundred two and row nineteen. So yeah, probably there and then row nineteen. Oh, not, yeah, there you row go. 19. Holy shit! Yeah, you spent three hundred. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck that! <laughs> Holy shit! I spent that much. And like, it's, it's such a terrible. That's for two area. tickets. That's yeah, for but two. that's in the corner of the fucking. I'd rather have a ticket out here I and know. watch the full field than the fucking corner of the stadium. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I think Oscar's also there yeah, too. Let's see how much this is at least. Middle seats. Yeah, you should got these are way better seats. Two hundred and twenty. Literally right here, three three eight. How much right are there? The how much are there? Right here. Yeah. One thirty eight. No, that's not true. Two. What? So okay. why is mine more expensive when it's mine's like super in the corner? Sea geek. <laughs> that's fog, dude. Did I really pay that much? Actually, pretty decent. I mean, like I still wouldn't buy that. Yeah, exactly. How much would you buy to watch Messi? Messi? I don't know. Not that much. No. It's for me. It's for soccer at least. Or football. It's uh, what team? All right, I'd pay at least five hundred dollars to go watch Brazil in the World Cup. Oh yeah, that's actually okay. Yeah, well yeah, in the World Cup. Yeah, imagine those tickets. Not even the World Cup. Just like if they're going against their rivals at their home stadium, and me going to Brazil. How much are World Cup tickets? So based, I thought base start was five hundred for like shit seats, and then good seats are at least like a thousand. I thought. Because weren't we looking at tickets when it started? I know. And dude, that's what I'm saying. This year. pretty shy. Exactly. No, this year, no. I'm well, telling you, four years. Yeah, no, wait. It'll be here. Yeah, when is it? Uh, 2026? 2026. 
Yep. That's what? Three more years? I'm yep. pretty sure you guys sign up for it, too. That's the thing. You guys sign It'll up for it. It'll be two and a half years. Exactly. We're going to sign up for it. Yeah. Would you ever be doing it? Would you be down? That's the thing. You oh, can like, save oh, up your I'll money, be down. though. But we're not going to go to the United States. We're going to go to Mexico. You're going to Mexico. I want to go to Mexico. You want to a Mexico one? Yeah, why not? That would be way better. I'm so scared of Mexico. It'll be che- cheap. I am so scared of Mexico. Yeah, I am, too. Exactly. Like, I would, I would be fucking... Okay. Otherwise, we could go to Canada. Yeah. I mean, like, going to the United States... Isn't Canada is like, super shit right now? Like... I heard... Did you yeah, hear exactly. about their alcohol thing? What? Like, you only... Two drinks a week, I think they said. <laughs> two drinks doing. a week. Two drinks a week. You like, cannot You cannot survive that. Uh, you drink a lot. I don't drink that much. He's just an alcohol problem. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> So I can t- survive when Kevin's not here. Yeah? Yes. You've been drinking like a lot, that though. Ti- Wha- who, who do you think is always next to me when I'm drinking? Before that? You drank by yourself before, though. Yeah, but I can't exactly. do that anymore. Why? I just made a, I made a pact with someone. That that's that's weird. Who on. drinks by themselves? I don't do it anymore. I haven't so done depressing. it in a while. You know that was depressing, right? Kevin drank more than me by himself. Okay, I can't out Kevin like that. But true. <laughs> it's truth. Yeah, you're right. No, but yeah, Caesar and Kevin, they, you, guys, you guys do have a... Whatever. That's crazy. Two drinks in a, for a week in Canada. Like, that's... I think that, like, for bars and shit. Yeah. You can only order two drinks. I was just... Uh, yeah, I was on YouTube, and this Canadian was recording this other Canadian about that new law. I don't know if it was a law or if it was an act or something, but the guy's like... Oh, that's If crazy. we can't even, like... I'm like, holy shit... Crazy. That is pretty fucked up. No, I know. I know Canada's yeah, whole government's fucking shit. I know. No, Canada's soccer team. Their federation apparently is supposed to get go bankrupt and oh, shit. Oh yeah, Canada's you heard about that? Shite, dude. Yeah, holy shit. I remember. I mean, yeah, I swear we talked about that. Me and Brian before. I swear they've been dealing with that for a while too. And holy shit, that's crazy. Now I want to go up to Canada. I still, I would still watch it here in the US. I think it'd be so much more hype. So much, it's more safer. Yeah. The amount, oh my I, god. Yeah, so much. It depends where it is as well. Watch them have it in Detroit. No, they already, the, yeah, they already released it. They did? Yeah, they already released where they're going to play. Oh, shit. Let's see. Where they... If we had to choose one... Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Dallas, Houston, Kansas City, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Miami, Boston, and New York. Dude, Miami's going to be crazy. Miami, oh, dude, I, and crazy. like I know Miami's building a new. Oh, Miami's well, building a new stadium. I say we go to Dallas or Houston. Dallas or Houston. I love Texas. Texas is my favorite state. Texas, I do want to visit Texas. I'm not That's gonna great. lie. It's great. It's great. Yeah, but you, Houston. I would That's def- where I was. I didn't go to Dallas, but I went to Houston. It's a huge city. Oh, you went to Houston already? Yeah. Oh, really? I was in there. We didn't like a. We had ventured it somewhat, but not fully. But oh my gosh, dude, they're crazy over there. Six lane highways. Oh, oh my god, it's terrible. <laughs> But you enjoy it. I, I enjoyed living outside on the beach. That's what I enjoyed. Uh, we yeah. were we when we went there, we got a house in front of the beach, and it was like near Galveston Island. Gav- yeah, I think that was, was what it was what it was called. So a smaller city. Mm-hmm. So we weren't like near. We were like two hours away from Houston. Yeah, we were two hours, so we weren't anywhere near a big city, which I liked. So they are they are playing Houston. Then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll get, no, but closest one would be Toronto and Kansas City. That's their closest. No, I would say Kansas City is a closer one than because no, we I have th- to go under Lake Michigan. Under Lake Michigan, you mean uh, above Lake Michigan? You want to go above it? How can we go under Lake Michigan? Because we got to go through New York to Toronto or go through Michigan. Because we would drive under it unless. Oh, I thought you meant in the fucking lake. No. <laughs> no, we'd go under. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're going through Chicago. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right. We could do that. Kansas City is a lot closer. But I swear, you got to sign up for these tickets, though. That's a thing. Let's see. Nah, Los Angeles? I would been, definitely go to Los I've Angeles. I've never been there, so. It's a super, it's a dead state. Ca- oh, it's going to, it's a yeah, dead Yeah, California is a dead state, but I no, do I'd fuck with it. I fuck with San Francisco more than, I've been to San Diego. Okay, Phenomenal. now we're just talking about where you went. Jesus Christ. Love it. We get it that you've been in places I haven't. I haven't been in <laughs> fucking shit. It's I've only been to what? St. Louis, Las Vegas. New Orleans. New Orleans, Minneapolis. Arkansas. Arkansas. That's it. Really? Yeah. You haven't been to Michigan? 
No. Even Upper Michigan? No. No. Damn. It's nice up there. Oh, wow. We went camping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't like camping, too. Three countries, 16 cities, and 48 teams. That's crazy. I'm excited for that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got to sign up for that. Well, let's see. Let's see. Atlanta. Let's see. Visit Atlanta. Oh, yeah. they're having one in Guadalajara. Register your interest. You see, you got to register in your interest. And then you got to, like, sign what? up. I'm really? telling you. I got to do you it soon. Sign up? Yeah. First name, last name, email address, preferred language. Dude, fuck. I got to do this now. <laughs> I'm telling you. What did you type in? Just World Cup? Yeah, you got to go to the website, fifa.com. And then, let's see. Okay, if we would go, it would be Toronto, right? Or which would you go? That's Canada. Can- Kansas City, then. You want to do Kansas City? Well, that's the closest one. You want to do the closest one? Are we going to drive there? Let's think about this, though. If we do manage to go together and shit, the expenses and shit, you won't survive. I won't survive. I'm telling you, I went to Minneapolis, and I spent so much that I thought that I would... Yeah, but that's Minneapolis. Travel, traveling is crazy. Minneapolis. Well, you gotta think of, like, I never thought about it, but you gotta think about the car. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> exactly. I never thought about the car until, like, I drove somewhere far. That like, is, damn. like, two years. Like, that could, like, like break down or some shit. So Kansas sorry. City, then. I say Kansas, Kansas, let's, Kansas let's, City. Okay, let's sign up for Kansas. Yeah, but where is let's that? Let's see the process. Kansas, you know where Kansas City is in Kansas? That's in Kansas? Well, no shit. It's in Kansas City. What the, what the fuck is... <laughs> Are you retarded? No, I just. I'm telling you, we I'm are not, both. I'm not a. We are both dropouts. We are retarded, but come on, Kansas City's in can. What the fuck? Is okay, that? but we have a Oregon, Wisconsin. That is true. That's weird, huh? I I, th- I never thought about that. I never knew. Do Oregon's a freaking forgotten state? I never think of Oregon. Oh, I'm gonna go there. Really? Oh, it's a beautiful state. I haven't been there. I want to go. It's there. Oregon and Washington. I always forget. Underrated. There are states. I don't. I don't get them. Yeah. People, they hype must up, be. Yeah, they, people hype up Seattle, but I have yet to, you know. Seattle? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see how they register. We want to register, and then we shall continue. <laughs> Henry, al- Henry, almost. Oh, you just click World Cup? Yeah, FIFA. Right. That was a 2022. What the fuck? Do I have to make a people account? I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm doing it without it. I just put my email and then my name. And that's it. Oh, there you go. Thank you for registering your interest. We'll contact you Do the course. Did you do buy tickets? Uh, I mean, go back. It's usually in the homepage. Yeah, you just go down and it shows you the cities. Uh, keep going. No, oh, there you go. Well, there goes you. What the fuck? Yeah, go buy tickets, yeah. See, yeah, see how long it takes. Yeah, do Kansas City. I did Kansas City. See how far, let's see how long it takes us to get. All right, after that, we are moving on to England, and then we're going to talk about the juicy stuff. Stuff that we probably don't even know that much, but we will give it our. Thank you for registering. Interest, blah blah blah. We'll keep you updated. All right, perfect. Yeah, that's it. All right. So yeah, we 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 registered for the World Cup for (laughs) Kansas City. Let's hope we can get it. See that? If only if we weren't doing if we weren't doing this, we wouldn't have registered. That's your thumbnail. Look at that. Registered for World Cup. We registered for the World Cup. Oh my God. (laughs) That'd be so funny. All right, so yeah, now we're talking about Premier League. So the Premier League, we are in match day four. We are really behind. Oh, look, I got, I got an email. Week four? Match day four, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're not good at this shit, but we'll give it our attempt. So yeah, match day four, pretty good game. Honestly, there was fucking banger ones. Like, I, I saw the, I think you saw, mentioned the one, Burnley versus Tan, 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 Tantiham Hotspur. Or Hotspur. It was 2-5. That was a good game. Shit, 2-5? Mm. Yeah. Angie's ball is actually working. They actually know how to play some soccer. I'm not going to lie. I'm digging it. Son is actually playing good in that team. I wouldn't thought Son would play good. Did he transfer? No, he stayed there. Oh, okay. It's Harry Kane that transferred. But That's honestly, deep. Spurs are playing good without Harry Kane, which is quite surprising. Yeah, no, he does not have any chemistry with any of that Spurs team. So I swear. So. Now I'm thinking about it, like Harry Kane could have been the problem for Spurs. Because <laughs> look at them now. Like, dude, they're like what? 
they're in second right now with 10 points. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's match day four. But, like, I would have played Spurs really low. I wasn't. I, I didn't have hope for them. And the, the coach, I don't know who the fuck the coach is, but apparently he's, he looks is like he, a, Is he new? He looks like a just... predator. Have you seen him? No. Oh, he looks like a predator. I'm not going to lie. He looks like he does some shady shit. I'm not going to lie. That's I don't nice. like him. I'm not going to lie. But he's actually improving this team. And, like, it looks, the whole team looks different. Like, no Larice, no Harry Kane, no D- Eric Dyer. All this team is, like, a fresh new team besides Sun, which I, I, I kind of enjoy now. Like, this team is looking different, which I'm quite enjoying. And then we had Chelsea versus 9 10 Forest. And guess who won that game? Nottingham Forest. Chelsea are in the fucking slump right now. They haven't won a game yet. In no? The, in Premier League, nope. Let's see. They have. They lost. Holy shit. Dude, they're fucking terrible this year, This season. Oh, well, they're so oh, far. Oh, dude, they're so far down. Yeah. Oh, they won against Luton Town. Luton Town 3-2, but it's Luton Town. Luton, Town's a, Luton Town sucks. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm glad that you guys got promoted, <laughs> but they are, uh, they are ass, dude. They lost against West Ham 3-1, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, and, West Ham, if you lose. I'm sorry. I don't like West Ham. You don't like West Ham? See, I, I heard of, like, yeah, West Ham was getting, like, people were saying that David Moyes, the coach, was supposed to get sacked and everything because people was like, his time is over and everything. He's doing good. West Ham is a, it's like, I don't know. I think they're just a middle table. No, I don't think are. they're they, shit. Yeah, I don't think they're shit, me, I but don't I don't think, think they're good. I don't think, because they don't have the budget. I don't no. think they'll ever be, like, a top team. They're always going to be standard, just okay. Just but that's good. A- I don't know. I feel like they, if they can get the recruitment system, like what Brighton are doing, I think they can be a good team, yeah, but, but they're not. Right now, they're no. Not. Right now, no, no. Right now, West Ham, no. They're out of the table. They haven't in a while. Yeah, but Chelsea, that's kind of disappointing. All that money they spent. They're going down. That's <laughs> imagine Chelsea going down. But yeah, they lost against Nine Ten Forest. Nine Ten Forest are, I don't know. Nine Ten Forest. I'd never seen them as a proper team. Like, I I don't know. I don't know if you know much about them, but they're just like, they're just so different. Like they don't have a genuine core group of players. It's always like. Besides the attacker, I guess you could say, but I forgot his attacker name. But that, besides that, Nine and Forest is not a team that like people praise because they're just they buy random players. Like they buy like Jesse Lingard and like Elanga from Man United, and yet they don't do shit. And it's like I don't I don't know. Not, that's Nine and Forest. It's just a bunch of random players together in a team. That's yeah. what I think of Nine and Forest, and that's why they're not even close. They will probably get relegated if I'm being honest. If I had to choose one, I think it would be them. Man City beat Fulham. Five one. They're gonna win again. They're, you think they're, they're gonna win? They're gonna win. They're, they're your number one. You fucker. No, no they hold are. up, I'm hold sorry, up. Okay. If, like I know Fulham's not a good team, but like they demolished them. Yeah, I know that was pretty. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Five one. Who scored the one goal for Fulham? Because I know Fulham. Oh no, Team Reen. Dude, it's so stupid because Fulham bought um, Hamas. Ham, yeah, Hamas. Yeah, the Mexican striker. Mm-hmm. And what's his name? His like. Um, a dominated Torah, Torah, Torah. I don't know if you remember him. He's like a buffy guy. He went to he played for Barcelona for a bit. He's like super buff. Who is he playing for? This motherfucker. Oh yeah. Yeah, that beefy guy. Yeah. They bought him also from Wolves, and I feel like that was the most stupidest play that Fulham could ever do. Wolves had him. Wolves and yeah, and they Wolves didn't do shit. Yeah. yeah. No, Wolves are pretty shit even now. But yeah, and then we had Brighton beating Newcastle three one, which is quite interesting. Brighton are. Brighton are interesting. I really do fuck with Brighton. I don't know if you don't know them, but they have some good players. Like their recruit, I'm telling you, keep an eye on Brighton Caesar, and I'm telling you, they will surprise you. They are middle. They are middle. T- have you heard of Brighton? You know Brighton. What do you yeah, know no, about I Brian? know Brighton. I, I what know, you know shit about, about them. I just know their team. What do you think of them? What do I think of them? Be honest. It doesn't matter. I don't. I we'll don't get, we'll get them. zero. I don't watch. I know. Them. I know. What do you think about them? I don't know. I don't. I just know their. When you team. think of Brighton, what do you think of a bluebird? Yeah, I, no, I just I just think of England. <laughs> That's what I think of. You're not, yeah. You don't watch Premier League that much, huh? No, I usually watch just the top team. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just because it makes. Well, keep an eye on Brighton. They're gonna become a top team. I'm yeah. telling you, they're exactly like West Ham, middle table. Yeah, but West Ham has yet to do anything. All right, so. but Caesar, I'm <laughs> telling you, West Ham. I'm telling you, if Brian get if West Ham get the recruitment system that Brian has, they will be a good team. Just West Ham. And they lost Declan Rice, and they lost a lot of good players. You got to be honest. I think West Ham is a good, decent team. They're they're as I think West Ham, Brighton, and Crystal Palace are like the middle table teams. You know, like no matter what, they will always be a middle table team. But Brighton might be different this year. I'm not gonna lie. They ha- they're Matoma. You know Matoba? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Dude, that man's a fucking baller, dude. That man is gonna be. 
he could be a Brighton legend. I really do like him in that team, and I don't see him anywhere else. I swear, every time a, Br- a Brighton player gets sold, they do terrible at that team. Like Mo- Moses Cancedo, he go- he transferred to Chelsea. He's playing like shit, and I'm like, holy shit, dude! Brighton are something about Brighton's team. Like I'm telling, you, even the coach said it that their football heritage is what makes a team great. And I'm like Chelsea. Chelsea has no heritage. It's just a bunch of random ass players. That's why I hate about Chelsea. It's like. I don't know. It's so stupid. Todd Boyley really fucked this Chelsea team up. I'm so sorry, you Chelsea fans, but yeah. you guys, you guys are, you guys are not a top team anymore. Chelsea is not a top team. No, like, they aren't. They died. Like, yeah, it's three years so ago. sad. Like holy it's shit. And Nicholas down. Jackson, you know, you know Nicholas Jackson. No. He's our new striker and shit. Trash. He's not good. Terrible. I could, but like I do, I do see his markability. Like he is like a, he's a good, he has like a. He probably just knows how to run. I'm assuming. He's really fast. Runner. Yeah, they bought him for Villarreal. Yeah, he hasn't scored yet. He missed this really good. I'm pretty sure it was this he game too. He hasn't scored yet. Nope, he's our striker. He was about to take. Yeah, he was about. He was about to take the number seven, but I'm apparently like. Every time Chelsea has a striker that's number seven, it, they call it the curse number. So then every striker does terrible, and that's why Nicholas Jackson decided to go with fifteen. But yet he's also having a 15. terrible season. Yeah, so that's why. But he's also having a terrible season. So maybe it's just a striker curse because Lukaku didn't succeed. Fucking all. Yeah, but he still had his name out there, Lukaku. He's he, still. You hear what happened with Lukaku recently? Uh-huh. You didn't hear about the whole what happened with him, dude. He's like, he's so stupid. Lukaku's fucking retarded, dude. At first, you know, you know where Lukaku played. Yeah. He played like what? He played where? What did he play before? He played, um, played, no, he didn't play at, um, he played at Inter. He played at Inter. He played at Inter? He, yeah, he went to Inter. Well, it was a whole star. I made a whole fucking okay. video. You're right. <laughs> but he, he, he's, he likes to play people. He, he thinks he, like, he's stupid. He, apparently, like, he decided to go to fucking Inter, back to Chelsea, then go back to Inter, and then he, so he decided to say, oh, I'm still in love with, um, Inter, but then he got offered uh-huh. by Juventus, and he's like, "Oh, I'll rather do that because there's more money." And then when Inter fans found out, they they kind of protested him that he's like backstabbing them. And then Chelsea, g- and then Chelsea came in, and then they bought ch- he bought. It's a, it's a crazy story. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, that guy is. <laughs> he's yeah, literally he's, just Chelsea, and then Everton, Man United. Oh, he played for Man United, yeah. I guess so, 2017. And then Inter, Chelsea, Inter. Mm-hmm. And then right now, Roma. Yeah, yep, he recently transferred to Roma. That's fucked. He <laughs> finally got a club. Yeah, I thought he would go to Saudi Arabia, I'm not going to lie. I, I could see that. Yeah, I, I, I thought he that. would, but now he's in Roma. Now he's going to play. He's going to be coached by Jose Mar- Mourinho again, which is quite interesting. I don't really keep up with that league. What, what league is that? It's, um, the Italy, the Serie A. Serie A, I don't know. It's not that good anymore. Juve is not that good. Napoli, Inter, AC Milan are the only good teams that are kind of interesting, but I don't even watch them in, in Champions League. I'm not going to lie. That league, not so much. I don't but they came out with uh, the brackets for uh, Champions League. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, dude. Yeah, exactly. We I, are, I saw it. I'm like, Phew. some of them were all right. Some of them were like, eh, you know? Oh, yeah, I know. Like, I... For me, the group... Hold up, hold up. Let's But first, let's decide who is going to win our top six for Premier League. Oh, shit. Pull up okay. your Premier League. Okay. Let's see your top six. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. We'll start for six. Let's start off with number six. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll give you a second. You can think about it. Oh. All right, we're going to do our top six teams for the Premier League. All right. I got mine. Yeah. You got yours? Yeah, I got mine. All right. Choose your six first. It's going to be Crystal Palace. Really? What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Do you know why? <laughs> Just Okay, so right now West Ham is the number four. They're uh-huh. going to go down. They're, oh, yeah. They're just, I don't think they're going to win their last next game. Really? No. And then... Arsenal, like, I so feel like think, it's, uh, Arsenal's going to lose their next game. I just... No, no, no. Top six, like, in, like, the whole season. Within the season right now. Within yeah. the four what weeks. Do you th- like, after they're done playing their all all 34 games, where do you think they'll last? Yeah, they are top the, six. the last top so six. So you really think Crystal Pass would be six? I, I, I can believe so. Yes. They're not going to win. That's why they're my Holy number six. Holy shit. Okay. I mean, that's going to be interesting. All right. Yeah. All right. I, they are a good team. All right. They are. So they're a good team because you believe in them. Yeah. All right. I go from Newcastle United. Newcastle. Yeah. yeah. 
I do. It was either that or Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle <laughs> United are the shit. I'm not gonna lie. They have Isak. They have. I feel like if Isak gets better, I think he needs to get to the team. I do like their their formation. I do like Anthony Gordon if he's actually playing good. Their defense is what's kind of struggling me, but it's a better defense than fucking Man United. I don't have Man United in my list. I think Newcastle is gonna go ahead of Man United. I think Man United be no, seven. I get uh, it, Man United is gonna fall. You don't. Uh, they're they're you, not. They're not even gonna hit top eight. They're not even. They're gonna, not hitting top eight. Really? No, nah, they've been doing shit. Oh shit! Yeah, they exactly. Lost, they so lost I, a lot of people. I believe Newcastle will be better than Man United, so I place Newcastle at six. Who's what's your number five? Number five. I got. Yeah, I got West. I got Arsenal. Arsenal? Arsenal. Number five. Yeah, number five. Why? Because my other top teams will be better than them. Really? Yeah. Arsenal's just... They're a good team. They almost they're, won. They're a solid team. They almost won. They almost year. won, but these three teams right now are not... They're not, they're not going to lose to them. <laughs> they're just that easy. They almost won last year. They almost did. But look at them now. I mean... They've, they, they, they're doing all right right now. All right, yeah. they're doing all right. Yeah, you're right. You know, yeah, they did recently sign Kai Havertz. Not the signing. He's terrible at that team. I have Spurs in number five. What? Really? No shit. Yeah, I think Spurs, I think Spurs are good, but they're not that good. They're, no, they're they're gonna go either first or second. What the fuck, Caesar? <laughs> really? They're gonna either win it or not win it. No way you believe them that much. You believe that team that much. As in my number two, yeah. That's mad. That is mad. Spurs right. Spurs don't know what they're doing ever since Harry Kane left. I feel like the only reason why they were losing is because of Harry Kane. He's both saving right have, there. <laughs> when you have when you have a big name on your team, people are expecting you to play that big name. Even though they just transferred to like a new team they haven't been on. Like Sun's been there, he's a big name, but he's been there since forever. Mm-hmm. All right, so he's kind of like their captain there. He's kind of you know like their Messi to their Barcelona. Mm-hmm. But when you have Harry Kane, probably England's number one soccer player, enter this team, they're just gonna you know have him up there just to have him up there. And I feel mm-hmm. like he had no chemistry whatsoever with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they put yeah, interesting. So okay, Spurs are number five. What's your number four? My number four. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be Brighton. Brighton. Yeah. Hey, me too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I do like Brighton a lot. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I we actually agree with something. Finally. Yes, can... Brighton, I do. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing to do said. They're just that good. No matter what they do. We, no one knows. No one knows how good how they do it. But somehow they pull it off with magical players. And Matome is the man of Brighton. I think they just know what they're doing all in general. Exactly. That's they a just, that's a team to look out for the future. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm excited no, to see for Brighton. No, sure, for future. I really sure, hope sure. they like dethrone Man City because Brighton, the way they're doing right now, they're recruiting and shit, they're actually doing having momentum. It's just if they can continue it. Man City, yeah, you're right. Man City is a fucking huge team. What's your number three then? Uh, it's going to be Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Me too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Liverpool. Oh, my God. I mean, like, a couple of years before, they weren't doing hot. They weren't doing that great. But, like, this mm-hmm. year, they're doing better than b- before, you know. They're actually bringing back their Liverpool name. Do you do you think that – do you like Mo Salah on that team? Who? Mo Salah. Oh, yeah. No, he's great. You he's like him great. on that team? I love him, dude. Oh, man. I think they need to let him go. You think so? He had so he you got offered he's... so much money. Liverpool should have just hold him. Yeah. But... I think Liverpool could have done so much better yeah. if they sold Mo Salah and find a better fucking striker. What striker? I don't fucking know. <laughs> but Mo Salah is old as fuck. And he like, is. He needs but he's to move still on. doing good. But he need they need to move on from him. They have Nunez and Diaz and Jota. They they, do. they, Nunez, they are good. Dude. Exactly. He's great. I remember dude, the reason why he, they're good at that team is because of him. They're in, yeah. Liverpool's interesting. People make fun of Nunez some days, and then people love Nunez the other day. So, exactly. Well, because he's either good or bad. I mean, like, so he'll have his on or off day. It's got, so funny. It's so yeah. It's so sad that we make fun of them. But yeah, new cat. Yeah, Liverpool. They are they are bringing it back. I'm not gonna lie. I'm do liking their formation and shit. They are a pretty solid team. What's your second? Spurs. <laughs> oh really? Oh yeah, Spurs. I forgot. Fucking Spurs. shit. <laughs> you weirdo. So I know I have Man City. Yeah. I, Man, Man City, City are good. They are good, but not as good as my number one. <laughs> oh, okay. I think Arsenal has the passion. You think you think have they're you, gonna win, dude? Their passion is crazy. Like, 
Well, you see, I think Man City are the champions. Don't get me wrong. They are champions. They're gods. Well, okay. So if I'm doing, like, because Man City is my number one. Mm-hmm. That's who's going to win. <sighs> I know. See, I wouldn't be surprised if Man City wins. Because like, they have so many high names up there. Like, I know. I, can't, I just got to list De Bruyne. That's all I got to say. And then I they'll win. And, because yeah. he's great. No, but the thing is, I, I, I don't know if you've been seeing Arsenal. I'll show you. You should watch the, the most recent game. Just watching it. The crowd. The, the, the what's it called? The mentality they have is so fucking Yeah, but who did they go against last game? I think they went against um, Man United. You gotta watch it. It was so what? hype. It was so hype. It was because like because the game was um Man that. United scored first and then Odegaard scored and right away after that and it was one one. It was hype and then Garnacho scored, but it was an offside goal and then Arsenal scored the last minute oh, shit. and they won two one and I'm pretty sure there was like eight more minutes added and then who scored the last? Gabriel Gabriel Jesus scored the last minute Holy and shit. sealed the whole game and the passion. Oh, no, I think Declan Rice also scored. You gotta watch it, Declan. I'll watch it. Yeah, we'll watch it after. It was so hype. I'm telling you, once you see the hype there, you can definitely tell they have passion. Like Arteta, Arteta, the coach. It's so cool. I, they better make a fucking series of this. Like, all in or nothing. You have you seen that in Amazon? Yeah, no, like, I, I haven't seen it. Seen it, but I know what you're talking you about. Those series are fucking hype. And if they make one for Arsenal, if Arsenal wins this, nice. it'd be the most banger show ever. Because I do believe that Arsenal had the mentality. Yes. They're not as good as Man, Man City. Man City is fucking. Man City is a god. Okay. They, they, they Man, yeah. Pep is a goat. Like we are that that team is like the Chicago Bulls for our generation for soccer. It's fucking beautiful what Pep's doing. But Arsenal does have the passion. I do fuck with Arsenal's like, just like the way they play the game and like they're so smooth. I just that's the thing with I love with the Premier League. One little mistake, and you're fucked. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> Pass, 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 pass. And that's Arsenal right there. Yeah. Arsenal, they completely expose how like terrible Man United is. It's so sad. Man United are interesting. You saw what happened recently with Man United? Oh, my God. I'm just going everywhere. But Man United, um, Jordan Sancho. You know Sancho? Yeah. Yeah. He got he got into a controversy with his coach recently, Ten Hag. And apparently, Ten Hag didn't have um, Sancho in the squad because apparently he didn't play good in the in the practice field. You know how that happens? You know? Yeah. Like, he didn't get selected and shit. And... He came in public and be like, "Don't believe what he says," and it's like all, oh, it's like a scapegoat and everything. Because like they're making making fun of Ten Hag because they're playing super shit, mm-hmm. and um, Ten Hag is like blaming like blame like Sancho for a bit, and then like Sancho's like no, and like replied back and like something's going down there. Something there, there's there's a there's a there's a few going down there, and that's not good for Ten Hag, and that's not good for Man United. I believe Man United was do Man United was doing good, like they were climbing up, and now it's a little dark now. They shouldn't have never signed Holland. If they signed a striker, he's tall and everything. They signed him for like 70 mil. He's not that good. <laughs> exactly. Holy he shit. looked like, honestly, I think the reason why they bought him, because he looked like Holland. <laughs> he, he's not that good. He didn't do shit. And it's like, Man United are just buying players that look good in their team. I feel like, because Holland is not good at all. And like, this team is going to be interesting to see in the past because they have so many good players. They have San Antonio, Van Dijk, Van Beek. They don't even play them at all. And something's going on there that I don't really like about this team. It's like it's sad to see Man United like that. But back to the Arsenal thing. Arsenal are they have the they have the mentality. They have the passion. So I believe Man- Arsenal's going to win the Premier League and Man City's going to lose for once. I, really well, I mean, okay. So if that does happen, they I, okay. So those outcomes, you know. I could see Arsenal getting to the championship, but I don't see them winning. It's just not going to happen. It's probably going to be like a 3-1 game if the Arsenal so go sad. against Man United. That would be so sad. Yeah. Probably will be. All right. Well, that's, that's, all, that's it. We'll call that one our first episode, honestly. That's our Premier League predictions. Probably, I'll probably upload like that. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank, like and subscribe. You can listen to this on Spotify, YouTube, and that's about it. And, yeah. Anything else, Cesar? No. Wow. First episode. Yeah, first Look at that. We are super, we're super shit, but who gives a shit? (laughs) We'll get better by the days. All right. Thank you. And see you.